Hello, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking a look at Starship Evo. Now, Starship Evo was actually a game called Sky Wanderers, and we've looked at it in the past, and we actually had a chat with the developer. But back then, the art style was extremely different, and the game was at a very different stage of development. I'm actually amazed to come back to this and just see how much has changed. The art style's changed, the wiring of the blocks, a lot of the features. It's just amazing. It's almost like a stoneworks, I would say, of space. You could compare it to Space Engineers and other games such as that, but I feel like the level of detail you can go into with your designs uh, with Starship Evo is far greater than even that. So let's have a quick look around a few of these ships. We'll show the cool stuff, then we'll show a bit of building, and uh, we'll get through it that way. So having a look at this ship here, these are a few that have been grabbed from the workshop. Each one of these is an individual block, and probably the best way of showing this as you can see, as I can place and highlight the different blocks that have been moved. It's got a really cool building system in this. As you can see, let's look at the detail and the glass, how it's all been wrapped around the interior. You've got buttons, pistons, parts that fold out. Of course, all these switches do switch and you can wire them up. And that brings me to the first thing I want to talk about is wiring up. There isn't a massive menu. You have this little tool here called the link tool and everything is graphically displayed so you can see that button is not linked to anything it's just linked to the other one for the minute to show some switches something that you can mess with outside of this ship and as you can see is if we go around to the different modules and we select the link it shows you what it's linked to this brings some really great benefits instead of fussing around menus trying to work out how to connect a button up i can literally click drag this line to what i want it to do and then select it and of course if i then press f on the button i can activate it and it's hooked up to this little door in this case so let's slide ourselves into the ship it's going to be a little bit of a tight fit i think i've, I've put a few pounds on since i got into my spacesuit in this game and now we're inside so just look at the level of detail in each here each one of these blocks individually placed and the blocks can also be stretched as well so i don't really want to do it in here and ruin the design but you can see these beds We've got a rear sort of reactor server room at the back there with more button panels, of course, but you can just see how crazy the detailing is. And of course, you can actually hook these things up if you want to, so you can control a thrust or uh, some sort of ramp deploying if you need to. Back into the cockpit. Once again, loads of detailing going on here. What I really do like about this is if we activate these buttons, we can actually send the chairs forward and back. So if I hop myself into this chair now, and I switch my switch, I go into pilot mode to say, and then I activate the ship like so, and then we can actually take off and we can go into another perspective. Landing gears, of course, can fold away. You can add hundreds of features to each one of your ships. Let's go and have a look at some of the big ones. Let's stick our landing gears down for the moment. The pilot in and thrusting before we do land is quite straightforward. You do have a left shift for a speed boost, so you can go quite fast. And when you're outside the planet's uh, gr or, or this ring's gravitational pull, in um, this case, you can jump to like a jump drive type setting or speed. So let's go and bring this down to a nice safe landing. It might be a little bit bumpy. I'm not the best of pilots. We'll pop ourselves out there. Of course, we're in a little bit of an uncomfy position that's why we should have probably rolled that chair back but it saved me getting out of the ship so let's have a look at some of the other designs as well you can see this is totally a different shape once again and if i just go onto my brick menu and i can show you how the blocks actually drag out and sculpt so we've got some large blocks there let's go for the small blocks so you've got the large scale blocks like that and then you've got this little s next to some of the smaller ones like so so what this means you can do is you can grab a block you can place it on the deck you can hold down a key and you can begin sculpting it and moving it. Of course, you can rotate it as well. And you can see this little switch between the axes, so I can drag it out this way. And this just allows you to create so many different shapes. It's, it's unbelievable. You can create smooth, round edges. You can curve. You can just have a look at the different lines. Each one of these blocks has been dragged out and sculpted. So, for instance, if I wanted to drag out a block long ways like this, and then wide as well, I can do. And then I can switch back to the other axis, with the R key and drag it up as well so I can really customize the angle of the shape that I want and you can see the numbers displayed at the bottom there so you can calculate that same shape on the, a different side of the ship and yes there is symmetry modes in this so for you builders that can't live without it you can apply symmetry and you can build away all day really cool indeed let's go to the back of the ship let's have a look inside this one at some of the features so we've got a cool ramp that extends and retracts so we've got pistons and rotors at work let me just reactivate that so that folds up, folds away. Let's reactivate it again. And it folds down like so. 
So this is actually probably using one of the more advanced blocks. And we're trying to just jump between everything and show as much as we can. You can see we've got rotors small, we've got hinges, we've got pistons. And we've also got these sliding rails that you saw with the chairs upstairs. And now we've got the different computer blocks. And this actually, this is probably a pretty good one to show. So if we go upstairs, we navigate ourselves out of the cargo bay down here, up this staircase is this area you'll see a coffee you'll also see that little system being linked there this is a gravity control block i believe yeah that controls how the gravity works aboard the ship and you've got all these other little rooms off to the side so let's head up to the bridge area and you can see we've got some more little controls going on in this area i think it was another ship that had the logic blocks on display so you can actually view them well there you go you can see how you can get a really detailed interior going on and really change the style of your ship i do feel like in other games you, you can end up all the ship's interiors look the same you've got a little bedroom with uh, some flowers going on in there as well so let's pop back downstairs we've got a little bit of a, a loading chill out room on that side and into here we go back downstairs and we'll talk a little bit about the logic blocks why we're here with this ramp as well so if we go into this menu you can see we've got hotkeys so we can wire them up in the same sort of setting with the visual connection. So should we just do a quick demo of that? Yeah, we should, Aaron. Let's do that. So we've got some hotkeys. We've obviously got a timer gate, just like a timer block. We've got logic gates. We've got a sequence gate, so you can have something like this ramp going up and down. A query gate, so this will probably make a check, run a check, and you can see it has next to it um, some of the things that it can do written in the text there. You've got the buttons, the switches, and of course the sliders as well. You've got some also pretty looking blocks as well. You've got some indicator lights as well, so you can see when something's been pressed. Very cool indeed. Let's go over to a little bit of a larger ship. So we've just touched on the building, and I understand it is advanced, and coming from whatever building game background, it, it can be a little bit overwhelming. I was overwhelmed with this. It took me a good hour of building to actually understand what I was doing. So we're going to come inside into this ship here. Now, the blocks can be placed flush with one another. So you can see there's a door there, and this has actually got one of them rail-guided systems. So let's hit that button, and we can see the rail closing up on them doors. We've also got a reactor room at the back here. This is pretty damn awesome. So the reactor's in here. If we activate this button, it actually retracts out and then exposes the reactors, turning on the light for maintenance. Wow. Wow. Absolutely overwhelmed by this game at the moment and some of the things you can do with it. So as we come into here, just have a look at the lighting. The environment feels great. So these are cargo storage racks for whatever you need. And of course, you've got these markers on the ground. So if we go into here, you've actually got markings and decor. We also have a paint tool, so we can paint. We can also paint warning stripes on the ground. So we've got everything that you'd have in a standard construction game, but it's just the scale that you can do it. You can build big and small, and that really allows you to get a high level of detail that I really enjoy. So tuck behind here, you can actually see some of the logic blocks. So let's see if we can... Can we access that? Is that on a, a shutter or a rail, or do we have to grind that away so that button's activated that there's no there's no panels that look like they fold down but you can see some of the logic gates tucked away behind there maybe there's just something i haven't accessed maybe there's a button behind a panel but we'll enter into the cockpit here of course we've got the gravity module in the center a really nice flooring layout pipes everything can be scaled so you could have a small pipe connecting into a larger one of course a lot of them are visual rather than actually serving a purpose because the main bulk of the purpose of the purpose items are on the link menu so let's go back to our link and have a quick look what's hooked up and how so you can see how that one is connected up to the control room that then connects itself up to the weapon systems on either side really cool indeed let's go off that let's jump into our chair this one's got quite a cool function i know how pilots love chairs that retract turn around and go forward look at that <laughs> you can't say that's not great so let's um let's take this one up into the sky or the sort of space area so we'll hit left shift and we'll begin speeding up into here yes you can construct buildings you can build loads of things on these rings here as well and there is asteroid fields space stations to explore um, and there is promise of a multiplayer there's a there's a lot of promise in this game it's going to really just just see how it's developed and how it continues but if it continues on at this rate of development it's absolutely gorgeous so th the next thing you're probably wondering about is scale of this world you can see if i select that that is a station um 480 kilometers away there's also a ship up here let's have a quick look at that let's boost our speed over to it so you've seen a lot of square ships at the moment this was one i was experimenting with before from the workshop again um up in space so let's go like this let's have a quick look around at this one 
So this one's a real nice rounded ship with an automated turret, but you can just see how much time and effort you can spend into sculpting that round exterior like that and some of the detailing with the uh, exhaust ports. So if you're a, a Money and Falcon fan, you can definitely build one of them. Let's continue with a little bit more of an explore. So over there, we've got one that's 942, but we'll probably go into the planet if we go that way. Is there anything else out here? Let's see if we can scan it. I know there's a few space stations. Ah, there's one. Let's activate a jump. So we're going to hit L. This is going to charge our engines and put the jump out. So you can see we're traveling at an extremely quick rate. The issue that I do have sometimes is obviously we can activate the autopilot and we can lock the crews in if we want to. Is sometimes jumping past. So when we get there, we'll switch this ship out and we'll have a look at some of the other ones from the workshop as well. So we're almost at the location. You can see in the bottom right, it's actually telling us what we're jumping into. We don't want to go too fast. Let's let's hit that there. Activate our shift speed. And we are coming in contact. It looks like we've got a few ships flying around in this area. Oh, we do have some weapons that we've fired at. Someone's jumped off from the station. There is a basic form of AI in this. Like I said, I don't know enough yet to truly understand everything. And I'm going to be playing a little bit more throughout the next two weeks just to see what this game has that I've not found already. So we're over at the station. We nearly arrived. And let's go back into first person perspective. So you can see the station there, there is some docking. That second target, if we lock it, is apparently a pirate. You can see it's coming up on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It's saying how much power it has, um, if it's got any health points or, or if it's on fire maybe. I don't know what that one is. Uh, let's deactivate our speed and slow ourselves down. So there we go. We've got ourselves a beautiful station to have an explorer of. And it looks like that guy's actually leaving the area. Maybe he's a little bit too scared. They do have shields, so if I do start shooting at one like this you can you'll start to see his shields popping up oh when he jumped out he's having none of it so let's have a quick look at this station and then we'll have a look at one of the bigger ships as well so let's f4 bring ourselves around you can see the asteroid belt that is actually there we can go to it if we want to so there's the station down at that point let's um just drop this here and we'll exit through our seat so it's important when we leave a cockpit like this to retract our seat properly there we go. Oh, can't, can't get over that feature. It's so cool. And there we go. We're back into our ship. Let's leave our chair. And let's add this block on. So this is the block that allows you to access things from the workshop. So we've got a few downloaded here. A nice Mark 1 there. We've got some other cool ones. Definitely worth checking out. Let's have a look at one of these much bigger ones. So this is a, a really big guy. So you can see, just look at the shape and the texture and detail. And when I was building, I'll, I'll flick to a building clip now. You, you literally feels like you're carving the blocks out. There isn't a shape that you really can't obtain. And if you can't obtain it, it's probably you're just not using the right blocks. There's so many blocks and little mini shapes that you can connect together. Let's have a quick look to see if we can get in this guy, though. I'm not too sure where the entrance ramp is. Oh, there we go. Pretty standard. Let's see if there's a button that we can use, though. So nothing on that side. Nothing over there. Is that a button? Ah, there we go. So the ramp comes down. We access into the rear airlock. It's got some information on the sign there. We can hit that up and let's enter in. So these these got some cool, quick, fast sliding doors into some sort of kitchen utility area. And then we've got a cockpit here itself. Let's have a quick fly of this guy. So with some of them, they have automatic turrets. So you can see how the automatic turrets are actually firing at something at the station over here. I'm actually taking some fire back from that alien. We can do a bit of a manoeuvring on him. We've got our big guns as well if we want to. Let's see if we can uh, fire back at him. Whoa! Oh, yeah, them cannons are seriously firepower. Look at that. Oh, glorious. Let's let's jump out of here. Let's leave, let's leave this place to be. Let's head up to the asteroid field up here. Just to show you, it's, it's a very real thing. So you can jump drive through it. Look at that. It's all appeared in place. Let's um, charge the jump drives and get a little closer. And there we go. So these are real asteroids. I can crash into them. It's not just part of the skybox. And I love the idea of that. Let's have a quick look. I'll show you. Here we go. We'll bump right into the asteroid. And there we go. <laughs> yes, it's very real. I wonder if you could build out here on an asteroid. I'm guessing there's nothing really stopping you from doing it. Let's uh, pop out. Go back to first person so we can navigate our way out. You can see that the stars seem to have overlaid onto the ship. And now we're back outside. So if we get this start block, we can pretty much start anywhere. Um, let's just build that there. So I'm guessing we could start here. We've got a slight drift on. I guess we're matching the ship's velocity. Wow. Look at that, though. Look at the, the 
depth to the actual field itself. A battle in here would be crazy. Let's put another start block in here and have a look at one more ship. So, as you can see from me just jumping around and being amazed by this, I've, I've really not experienced anything like this in the space building genre before. I, I feel a lot have come close, a lot of trying things, but the, the main thing is, will this continue? in a positive way in development or will something derail it and why why is it so so invisible why have so many people not had a look at it so let's go with that one oh an even bigger one or is that the same one that we put in before looks like it's got slightly different maybe a different setup or maybe it's the same one let's go with something a little bit smaller so we've had a look at all of these ones let's try that little fighter lovely so let's have a look at rear access. So everything you want to do is it's within reach. You've got the pistons and the rotors and all them little toys to play with as well. Got the rear back door. Let's have a look at this guy. So it's like a ramp and a seal. We've got some bug with the stars showing through the interior. What's this do? Got bunk beds that fold down. I'm guessing this is like an overhead storage bin. Lovely. This, this is what I was talking about before. So I open that up like so. And it shows me the logic gates so I can actually access them and change them around. If I use this, it'll show you what they're connected to. So they're actually the logic just to get the bed to fold up. And since it's very visual, you literally grab the logic gate, you take it over to what you want, connect it up, and it'll then do something with that feature. Real cool indeed. And you can see all the connections that are going on here as well. So is this another retracting seat? They, they love this, don't they? They love these like forward, backward seat things. It's not complete a spaceship without one, is it? Anyway, I'd like to wrap that up here. We'll jump in the seat and we'll give it one last fly if we can. So as you can see, this game has a hell of a lot of promise. There is so much more to explore, and I plan on looking at this again in another video. Let me know in the comment section what you'd like me to have a look at next. Would you like me to do some more building, hands-on sort of stuff, and check out the building mechanics and do some shipbuilding as well as station building, perhaps? Let me know. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.